Next item would be oral communications. If you wish to reopen that. Yes, I would like to reopen oral communications and we will start with um, Anna Avakian. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Anna, I'm a citizen of Glendale. Can we have some, some quiet, please, in the chambers? Sorry. That's okay. Second. How much time do you need, Ms. Avakin? Probably three, five minutes. It's more than enough for me. Okay, five minutes. What I'm going to talk about the issue regarding to homeland Armenia, we earlier represent here. But the latest news I have because my background is a criminal law here in the United States as a nurse volunteer for Red Cross over the years. So I dropped the, all the cities, which is proves what's going on back home in Armenia against population with don't have a guns, with a four-year-old kid who they kidnap already, which this is proof. I have the city, I can prove it. Whoever thinks it's not true. Parents are asked to pay money or take run from out of the country. That's my latest news. I went to Santa Monica headquarters of Red Cross, asked their assistance to interfere. They said they can't because corrupt government of Armenia told it's a terrorist act, which I don't think so, because in a small country where just a less than half a million people cannot just be a terrorist act when it's everybody under one belief. There is no other beliefs or any religions to interfere. But I ask you, Glendale of City, as a sister city of the Rapan, as we know, previously we talked about it, Mr. Sinanyan, I hope you're going to get more involved as a city, because most of Armenians, as myself, we pay taxes to this country, which I'm really proud, because give me the freedom of the speech. And I want my fellow Americans to know I'm not pressuring them, but as the country, the leader country who fights for a freedom of the people, especially the kids, my heart is broken right now because I'm shaking. I don't know what's going to happen with that four-year-old girl. As a mother of two, I'm really, I cannot ask the corrupt government. And um, myself, I already admit the IRS and the FBI fraud department because what is happening in a Beverly Hills area, my corrupt gov government money laundering, buying the houses, which us American citizen middle class wishing to own some small kind of a property for our future, but we can't. But the foreigner corrupt government kids, they come, they paid $11 million, $35 million, houses, they buy it, they not even pay any tax to this country. They never work for this country. We have senior citizens who suffering to survive in this economy, but somehow homeland corrupt government, Mr. Serge, kids, relatives, they use different names to get the property in the United States. So I did my part. I allowed them FBI fraud department to make sure they investigate that problem also. But as a citizen of Glendale, I really, I really going to be appreciated. I know you are mothers, some of you grandmothers, parents, just take any kind of actions, if you can, please. We will be appreciated as Armenians and as American citizens of this country. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Ms. Avakian. Next is Mary Bagdasarian. Mary Bagdasarian. Okay. We'll go to Ara Manukian. Five minutes, please stay. Yeah, that's, that's sufficient. It's probably even too much. Uh, good afternoon, City Council members, afternoon. staff. Uh, as you know, my name is Ara Manugian, and I was here last week on Tuesday, Tuesday evening, to ask the City Council and the City of Glendale to take a stance and denounce the violence uh, that are being committed against the people of Armenia, um, and in, which had started or was triggered on July 17th. Uh, of this year. Um, as you know, we have uh, we had asked you on Tuesday to give us an answer by Thursday, which we didn't hear, and so we commenced in a hunger strike, which we've been on since Friday. Um, 
and that's myself and there's one other person who's not feeling too well today because she was not as healthy as I was when she started. So it's been taking its toll on her, this hunger strike. Um, I would ask that the city council, again, and the city of Glendale do some soul searching. And I know I, I want to point out that uh, Zara Sinanyan has already started on his Facebook page taking a very uh, solid stance on the issue, which is going on, and denouncing what is going on, uh, as, it, as has uh, Artie Katsakhyan. And Again, I ask that all of you do some soul searching and hopefully you've done some research over the last week and have a better idea of what's going on and that the city of Glendale do stand by their sister city and take a stance, an official stance, and denounce what's going on. And as Artie had said, he's going so far as to making sure that his voice is heard by the authorities of Armenia, um, whether that be at the consulate or whether that be at a different level. So I encourage the same for you. The hunger strike will continue until our request from the city of Glendale is met. And hopefully that will happen today. And if it does, I'm sure that uh, our other hunker striker will be very happy, so she will be able to start to take in some food. Um, but I'm ready to go on for as long as I have to. As some of you know, in 19, uh, 2013, I went on a hunger strike for 24 days officially, which actually went for 26. So I'm ready to go the long haul if you guys are ready to go the long haul. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Morinikin. Andranik Dovlatin next. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sandra Anikdovlatian. I've been a resident of the city of Glendale for a little while now, but always known this city. And uh, as far as the police brutality back home, I'd like to reiterate one thing. Um, my relationship with the Glendale Police Department goes further back than some of the council members who have been involved in the city, going back to a traditional police officer named Officer Barnes, who was one of our instructors in the Explorers Academy, who single-handedly uh, was the reason why I turned my back on a bad crowd and looked at the man and I said, that's, that's how I want to be. And, that, and he was the reason why I was pulled out of a lot of the element that I shouldn't have hung out with. So the Glendale Police Department has made a difference in my life directly, given me a, a direction, which then led to me joining the armed forces of these United States. And I would gladly serve again if this country calls upon me. And I'd also add, like to add one more thing as far as our police department. Thank you for showing up and protecting our freedom of speech, sir. There is no political influence, no campaign contributions of any elected officials or any of that that will ever stand between you and the admirable job that you do, sir. Job well done. I salute you for what you did yesterday. When you showed up, people got relief because we know the element that we're facing. We know what's hiding behind the cross which to me, having served as an acolyte and served in the Armenian church for over 19 years now, I am humiliated. And I stood at the gate and I said, I will not walk in there until I get a clear statement of what is going on with baby milk money that came to Armenia as humanitarian aid that has been laundered here in the United States. This is ludicrous. It's out, it's, it's, you can't put it in words. The European Union, I'd like to add one more thing really quickly, gives humanitarian aid and they explain and they break down in a very simple format of our high school journal entries and accounting and principles. And they put in this much money goes to pregnant women who can milk their babies so they'll have enough nutrition. Those mothers are hungry and breadless because the corrupt Ser Sarkisian police chief of Republic of Armenia that said had a face and audacity to stand next to our admirable officers and actually get advice. We welcomed that, finally thinking we will remove the old element of the Russian military doctrine and KGB connection of oppression and they will take some example from our fine officers. But what they did is they lied to our officers. The canisters that are supposed to be fired up this way, and I have police training, I have my, and I talk to a lot of cops, and I know how procedures are, sir. I've been around police work for a while, and, and I have friends who are cops. They're deliberately firing it on the ground and towards the crowds to, to instill burn on citizens. Children have lost their limbs, eyes. There's, there's photos and video upon video of citizens being attacked in their own home. And I'd like to deliver a message from the people of the Republic of Armenia to only the Armenian elected officials. And this is not a, uh, please, it sounds politically incorrect to these days when you say this only applies to the Irish or, or anyone else. 
But this is the message. Um, your silence, I'm very sorry to say, has been viewed as a betrayal to your own people, to a lot of your campaign promises and everything else. Mm -hmm. I understand there's a lot of big money floating around everywhere. But rest assured, in this country, these are the United States of America. No one will allow anyone to deny an American their freedom of speech and their constitutional right. Those rights are not going away. And I'm just delivering, and I will deliver preponderance to what I'm saying, as to how people view any Armenian in office. This includes Dashnak Revolutionary Organization, who've been major campaign contributors to a lot of Armenian elected officials, all the way to you people knowing state senators and state Supreme Court officials. Not one word for 15, 20 days of outright murder and neo-Stalinism oppressing my people. You should have stood until now and said something. As far as Arach Nortaran, church leadership, 30, 40, 50 million dollar constructions going on building church and fancy schmancy marble that my people bleed, process, and send to this country and the stone of my Armenia building churches, I will not walk in there until I know that church is clear of, 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 of this element of greed. And we will, I promise you, we will remove that greed. I will need help, but I will get it done. And I know I got help. I've got traditional. And let me add one more thing. I don't see any discomfort in dealing with someone who's got a Jewish name, Irish name, African name, or any of the other name. It no longer, at this point, gives me any sense of comfort to deal with a politician or elected officials, I'm done, that has an IAN or YAN. It doesn't matter to us. Thank you. Just demand our Thank freedom. You, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Dolatin. for listening. I salute you, sir. Thank so, you. Yes. before we take the next speaker, I speak for myself. So, to say that I've been silent on this issue is kind of not sincere. I'm being very generous right now. So. Next, uh, Christine Halajian. Uh, I'll, I'll wait until the... Yeah. It's okay. State your name for the record, five minutes. Good afternoon, uh, officials. I'm, uh, I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for hearing us. I'm here for two reasons. The first one, I'm here to show my appreciation to you, Ms. Sinanian, for your, uh, for your talk about this matter. I really appreciate that. Before we even start the hunger strike, you already gave your opinion about this, and we are very grateful for that. And the second reason that I'm here, I'm one of the person who was doing a uh, hunger strike. My name is Christine Halajian, and the second reason I'm here today is to show my disappointment. My disappointment to you, Mr. Najarian, and to you, Mr. Kerbetian. And thank you, Mr. Kasafian, for also expressing your opinion on your uh, Facebook page. We really appreciate that as well. Disappointment that I want to share with you is that you are claiming to be the human rights advocate. And I can't believe that it took you four plus days to come up with some kind of opinion. I feel that you're feeling helpless or scared. I don't know what is it behind your reasoning. I don't want to deal with that. It's just like I can't believe as a United States citizen who has the right for freedom of speech to take some kind of actions to stand up for any kind of human rights that's violated. It's you who are officials it taking four plus days to come up with some kind of opinion on your social media or in a media. You know, if you're claiming to be something, we need to walk our talk. It's just not just words. We need to show it. And whole world already shows that what's really what's happening in Armenia. Even if it's not happening in Armenia, let's say in Africa, we as a human rights advocate need to stand up. Especially when it's your nationality, you have double reasons to stand up. But I stopped my hunger strike yesterday because I was having medical complications later on. My doctor advised me to stop immediately. But I can't believe that it took you four plus days. Even now, you didn't come up with some kind of, some kind of evaluation, evaluation about this, some kind of opinion, some kind of statement. And I'm not, because I'm a very optimistic person, I'm not giving up a hope that you will stand up. Just come up with some kind of statement. It can be today. 
It can be in front of everyone here in this, in this uh, hall watching you to come up and just condemn the police brutality done against humans, against Armenians, against kids who lost their eyes and got burned with four degree burns. It's just unacceptable as an official not to come up with some kind of statement. I'm just asking you just to do that today. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Garbett, do you want to respond? Yes. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you for coming in today. Uh, again, just to say that we were silent on this issue is not a fair statement. Uh, I came back from Armenia, I don't know, about three weeks ago. I was on, uh, every one of us expressed our feelings and opinions in a different way. Some of us are not very savvy on the social media, and, uh, but I personally, my personal opinion, I was on three different shows, uh, the Armenian shows that it's on KVMD, some of them, and goes nationwide and worldwide, and I voiced my opinion on it. Maybe you haven't seen it, but it was on, on Barev TV as well as Paros TV, that in last three weeks, I came out three times and voiced my opinion about the issues that's going on and what has to be done to me, I mean, as, as far as my own personal opinion as to what has to be done in, in Armenia. But overall, just to say that we were silent and we we're not saying anything, it's not fair. So, and there is many things that we can do. There are some things that we cannot do uh, sitting on this dais, and I think you need to understand that as well. But whatever has to be done the right way, the legal way, the American way, we will do it. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we have Nanor Shaheen. Hello, my name is Nanur Shahin and my voice is really bad. I apologize for that. Uh, a couple of days ago, I had to um, kind of lead the protest in front of church. Um, and we're not, uh, we're not allowed to use the microphone, so I had to scream for about three hours, uh, just asking for human right to um, just to acknowledge that this violence is happening in Armenia and uh, even our own church is being silent. Um, so for those of you who do not have ideas, I guess I have a visual here. Um, all I want to ask you today is to make your decision. You have this right here, so you have to be either on the side of violence, that you can see the pictures, and I'm sure if you just search on Facebook even, or any you know, media these days, you can see all the pictures much better. This man in the middle who was, um, who was actually, he, he passed away this morning uh, because of the level of burn that he had. So I'm really upset today. Um, I'm very disappointed. I do understand that you as a person um, have your opinion, and I believe you shared your opinion, uh, but we're asking for much more than that. So I'm going to keep this short. I just wanted to be here today with this visual, and I'm going to leave it here just for you. Um, you either have to take the side of human right for peace in Armenia, or you can be on the side of violence. It's your choice, but we want, you, we want to know what's your choice. Um, I'm also here to announce that uh, I didn't eat anything today, and officially I'm joining uh, Oromanu Gyan for the hunger strike, uh, strike and um, I, we're just going to wait for an answer today. Uh, if there's no answer today, I'm just joining Ara. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Shaheen. Yes, Mr. Nigerian. Well, let me make a few comments. First of all, uh, thank you for coming by. Uh, I don't think that any sort of violence from one side against the other uh, is to be tolerated in Armenia. I do want to say, however, that my efforts uh, in this matter are not going to be broadcast on Facebook. They're not going to be broadcast on TV. But I can assure you that I am taking efforts and taking steps towards conveying my sentiments towards the Armenian government, to the Armenian government. But I'm not going to put it on Facebook. So if, if Ara, if you're looking for something on Facebook and say, this is who Ara met with, this is what Ara said, this is what the response was, you're not going to get that. And I don't think it's fair for you to impose on me your standards and your description of what I'm doing. You're an elected official. But let me, uh, Ara, please. Let Ara. me tell you, Ara, please. that because you're an elected official doesn't mean you have to broadcast everything that you're doing. So let's be clear about that. And if that doesn't satisfy you, I'm sorry. But I can assure you that I am taking my own steps in my own way to do so. 
one way to... I'm sorry. Please, you, you said other what thing, you said. The other thing that I think is, is an issue that everyone is concerned about is the prospect of a civil war in Armenia at the moment, which will be a devastating event because we are, for those who don't know, blockaded on all sides. We're struggling economically. The Turks and the Azeris, and some say the Russians, are waiting for any distraction, any diversion to continue their land grab in Karapakh. None of us want that. But I can't say that I want the health, I want peace, I want to have a thriving Armenia and Karapakh, and I want the young children to have something to look forward to, to remain in Armenia and to remain successful, strong Armenians. So, thank you. And um, I'm going to do a second call from Mary Bogdasarian. She's not here, I guess. So, comment. Yes, Madam Mayor. Um, I'd just like to comment uh, um, to all of you. Thank you for coming back this week again. Uh, I want you to know that uh, last week after you visited City Council, uh, I did uh, um, get some uh, advice and had a letter drafted. Uh, we are now waiting. Uh, for um, uh, consultation or for a, um, a meeting with the State Department. Uh, it's not an easy task for us to simply send a letter. But as I understand it, tomorrow there will be a meeting and, and we'll see where it goes from there. But there has been a letter drafted. Okay, thank you, Madam. Yes. Mr. Carpenter. We we all been working on this on this letter so we were told not to talk about this issue today specifically because we're meeting with state department tomorrow so i just want you to know that this has been going on this has been working on and we were told not to talk about it today because just the fact that we are meeting with the state department tomorrow and tomorrow after the, the meeting the decision would have made as to what kind of a letter what kind of a language but the statement was going to come out tomorrow so there are some things that we shouldn't say. There are some things that we can't say. So I just wanted to know that we are not ignoring the fact, and we've been working on this on this letter for for a week or so. And I'll conclude by I'm sorry, that's it. But uh, I'll conclude by saying that um, well, thank you for your activism. Thank you for um, your efforts. There are very specific limitations on on a city council city council doesn't have any foreign uh, relations powers we we don't we're not the state department we don't influence foreign countries it so happens that we are of armenian ethnicity but armenia is a different republic so we have no jurisdiction there the state department is the proper uh, channel through which you influence or through which you apply pressure on a foreign government just a fact I don't know that the city council will issue a statement or not, because I, I can't speak for the council. Um, whether they do or not, I, I want to once again, you know how I feel, but I want to once again call for the immediate release of David Sanasarian, Alek Yeni Gomshan, Hovsep Khurshudian, and Armen Martirosian, who are well-known political activists, peace-loving people, democracy-loving people. There's absolutely no excuse for their detention which now they've been detained for two months, from what I understand. Uh, in no country, no country that's associated with Glendale should have political prisoners. So whatever happens with the rest of the process, that's like an entire different universe. But, but these people need to be released today, now. That's all I have. So thank you. With that, we have, that was the last speaker. And uh, what's next on the agenda? Any authority member or staff comments? I think we made a bunch of comments today. No comments. Do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. And we're adjourned at 4.02 p.m.